99.9 Virgin Radio. No, Kelly Clarkson. What doesn't kill you makes you Hey, it's Mora from The Breakfast Show with Mad Dog and Mora with Kelly Clarkson. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good, good. Awesome. I was um, doing some research on you this morning and I realized that it was a decade ago that you won American, American Idol. Idol. Yeah. And um, we're getting old. I know, I know, I know. Uh, and I was kind of wondering what kind of changes do you think have gone on in your life. Obviously, you came out with this new album called Stronger. You're probably much stronger now. Yeah. What's the big difference in the Kelly Clarkson from now to the decade ago when you won American Idol? Um, I guess I'm finding the older you get, the more comfortable you get with everything. Yeah. You're just like, hmm. Like you just get kind of more nonchalant about stuff. You're like, that doesn't really matter. Yeah. It mattered so much when I was 21, but like, I don't really care anymore. Yeah. Like, not in a bad way. I think in a very healthy way. I think you just get more comfortable in your skin and you're more comfortable with like, I'm working on music, my friendships, my relationships, like everything. Mm -hmm. It just gets easier. So you are so not a diva. Are you the kind of person that is comfortable walking outside without your makeup on? Oh God, jogging yeah. pants. I was living there like we got a picture of Kelly without her makeup. I was like, D you can get that daily. <laughs> I'm like, I don't care. I was on Idol without makeup all the time. Right. Like the producers were like, did not know what to do with me. But I was like, I'm not working. Like we're just like sitting at the house. Like, right. why am I going to be all dolled? I'm going to look like a tool. Awesome. Uh, we have some questions from fans here that yeah. I'm just going to read from you. They're really, really cute. This one is from Jessica. Okay. She wants to know how your last date went. Uh, great, actually. <laughs> I wore this dress. Oh, <laughs> I, 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 did, I just was talking about that with my friends. <laughs> I was like, my one of my girls was like, oh, I like that dress. I was like, I wore it on my date, the last date I went on. So yeah, so it's, it, it went well. We, we had dinner and then we went to a show. What, I, actually, I heard, and tell me if this is false, but I heard when you were doing your show at Falls View Casino this weekend that you yeah. might have like almost fallen off the oh, stage. Yes, it was oh. like the, our stage, that our normal stage, like for our lighting, everything is much bigger usually. But Falls Casino is very small. It's like uh -huh. intimate. So we did like two there. and But it's such a small stage. The lighting, normally I can see all the floor monitors. Right. I did not. Oh, no. <laughs> and in the first night, and like this little girl, she's like 115 pounds. I was slapping hands or whatever, you know, at the front of the stage, like during a song. And all of a sudden, like, I grabbed her hands, like, because I was falling <laughs> over the floor. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> and that little 115 girl, like, she totally helped me the entire night. Like, really? pushed me back. I was like, <laughs> like super girl down here i was like what but yeah no she a fan totally <laughs> helped me not bust and brenda this is our last question uh what advice would you give someone who's trying to become a singer um you know what um i guess my, my main thing is uh just try and find something that's different about you i think a lot of people the, the problem is you'll hear somebody on the radio and you're like oh that's no, oh no that's not that artist they just sound just like them mm -hmm. you know you always think and it's like I think that's what really shoots people in the foot sometimes like they try and do what somebody else is doing mm -hmm. or the label wants them to do what somebody else is doing because they'll make money like so I think that the biggest thing is making sure that you you find like a, you're a little niche like whatever makes you different mm -hmm. you know even if it's something quirky or weird or you think it's stupid like you know that's going to separate you to make you memorable so cool yeah well, I like that advice Kelly yeah. Clarkson everybody Thank you. Yeah, You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> so nice meeting you. Nice to meet you too.